I'm doing a training uh, video today. Um, I haven't done one of these for a long, long time, and purely from the fact that I have had to buy, unfortunately, this is a external, uh, well, it's going to be an external hard drive, eight terabytes, uh, so that I can put all my video files onto the external hard drive and my computer then I can free up that for making videos and have the the external drive for a storage backup just to get them off my hard drive mainly because there because there are so many of them now that are really finding it very difficult uh, so I have had to buy this uh, well, I've had it on order for a little while, so, you know, I've just been waiting for it to come. Uh, so we have several things on my desk that we're going to have a look at. Okay. So the items that we're going to look at, apart from the uh, scissors. So we have the power pack. So there's a... DC, uh, DC converter power pack which is uh, says I can't even read it it's so small uh, 12 volt I think that says 2000 milliamp um, so it's a mains adapter then we have this USB cable which is a special one so you have the normal USB on this end, and then you have this special uh, double sort of double adapter. One is for the uh, power as well, so it takes power and uh, puts it into the hard drive. So that's the USB. Then we have the uh, the external case, and it's a. It's a, designed for SATA 3, 6 gigabits, and it's made by Orico. Orico. Um, they're pretty good make. So we, on, the, on the side of it, there's the USB, there's the mains um, DC adapter plug, and then there's uh, a very annoying on-off switch. So it's not like a normal hard drive where you can just plug it in and every time you boot up it will, it will turn on. You actually physically have to turn this on. Now some would say that that's a good thing because if you've got this as a backup then you might not want to have it running all of, every time you boot up your computer. Now when you uh, look at this inside, you take the lid off and there's like a, a foam sticky pad there but you do get two more foam sticky pads one is um one is quite thin and one is a little bit thicker the same same thickness so you might want to put these in or you might want to not bother um i think uh probably won't bother and then you have the actual base where the hard drive will go and the connector for the hard drive is down here and it takes the power um, from the uh, through the USB and the uh, DC adapter uh, plugs. And then <coughs> the most important part is the eight terabyte hard drive. Now this hard drive is a Seagate. And it's an archive HDD, so it's that's the actual t uh, brand type. Um, because Seagate do a lot of uh, different uh, types of hard drive. Now, if I remember rightly, this is a 5900 RPM hard drive, eight terabytes, um, very reliable. It's obviously SATA um, serial ATA. Now, when you when you do this, if you're going to do this yourself, then please be careful when you, because at the moment it's a sealed uh, 
anti-static uh, bag so it's perfectly okay for me to put my hands all over it however as soon as you start opening it is when you have to worry about this so just be careful if you're going to do this yourself really cut the um cut the package now if um if i was doing this as, as my old job then i would be having an anti-static uh, wristband but um we should be okay as long as i don't touch the the circuit board You can see the, the circuit board area and the end uh, socket there. So as long as you're not touching any of that, you'll be fine. So we place this into the into the base and then just give it a little push so it locks in, into, into place. Now what you could do, in theory, is just stick these in in the bottom here just so that when it's um when the lid is shut it won't move around too much now just so it's not wasted i've shoved the other one in as well just shove that in there you see it right So then we put the lid on nice tight fit uh, that one's come out so we'll leave I'll leave that one out then it's, if it's come out it's fine now there is a, um, a little uh, paper guideline thing it does say it does tell you everything I've said just now it does tell you uh, what what I've just done. Okay, so there's nothing there that that I haven't already told you. Now we'll we'll move on to actually putting this um, into onto the um, computer because there are a, a couple of pointers that you need to be aware of when you're. Do and, uh, unfortunately, there's no. There's no way to lock this lid. So what you might do is um, just have a little bit of sticky tape maybe to, to stop it from sliding open. Um, but as I'm going to be using it stationary, you know, just on my on my computer down here, just put it on the top of it, it um, should be okay. It won't be moving around too much. Right, so what we're going to do then is we're going to have a little look at how to set this up on the computer. We're going to plug it all in and uh, show you the uh, proce procedures for um, formatting. Okie dokie, so here we are with my uh, desktop and we've got all the computer plugged in and the hard drive all plugged in. And now we're going to see if we can set up the hard drive so that we can actually use it. So we have to uh, turn the uh, turn the hard drive on, which we'll do. There's a beep, and then hopefully what will happen? We should get a lovely message pop up. Hopefully, otherwise what we have to do is we have to go into um, an application. It does take a little while. It's the actual hard drive light is flashing away. Uh, and we could have a look in Explorer just to see what we've got. Now we haven't got it yet. It's not appeared because it's not formatted. So we have our C, D and I and V and there's no other drives there. So what we can do, we'll have a little look at um the the usual this one here computer management which is your comes with windows and this will tell you all of the hard drives that you have on your system you need to go into disk management 
which we'll do and there we go and then it should give you this message comes up now this is a very important message that we need to take note of because in order for you to get the benefit of eight terabytes you have to select the option that is ticked which is a gpt guid partition table if you have the master boot record then you will not get the full hard drive so the gpt partition style is not recognized by all previous versions of windows and this version that i'm running is 10 so it will accept a 8 terabyte hard drive so we select ok for that and then hopefully what will happen is it will appear down here unallocated because it hasn't been formatted but it has been set up so you can go to action all tasks and then new simple volume so this will give you a simple volume for the for the hard drive however i much prefer to have um this other application which is called a o m e i it's a it's a free piece of software uh, and it will allow you to uh, format and control your hard drives so we need to first of all we need to refresh the table so that we see our hard drive appears in the list which is this one here so this is our new hard drive this number four and before we can use it we need to format it so disk partition create partition and we want to have the full eight well you won't get the whole lot anyway but the full eight terabytes and we're going to assign this letter uh y the don't ask why but we're going to assign it to y uh, i have two other hard drives which are w and x and this one's going to be the third of three and you'll see that this is uh y and ntfs now you either have ntfs or you have fat2 but fat2 is will only only allow you to have two terabytes we click ok and we'll go away and do that that's created a partition now then you need to format so disk where is my partition uh, there it is I couldn't see couldn't see for looking there's format partition now because it is actually uh, eight terabytes it might take a little while but remember this will destroy any data on the partition so you don't want to be doing it for any of the other hard drives because you will find that uh, you will lose the contents of it so you can give it a, a, a label if you wish I'm going to call this 8TB there's no space but you can have an underscore um backup Oop, i can't spell <laughs> backup backup okay so atb backup okay and then we'll have okay and it will go away and done it basically it's that quick which is ideal so once you're happy with the, the uh partition and you've formatted then you can apply so you apply it and it should take around about 30 seconds so pr click proceed are you sure yes and away it will go and this will uh, actually do the job now we'll just wait for that to finish it's pretty easy really so all operations have been done and now the hard drive should actually be available within explorer so if we close that down and we could do a 
little look here we can do an f5 i think f5 where's big drive gone oh there it is. oh there it is it's there it's there just there look there it is there we got eight terabytes there's obviously nothing on it at the moment uh let's go to the where's my pc oh, there, it, there it is now it appears in the in the list of hard drives so it's a eight terabyte backup y drive so there we go that's basically all you need to do to, to get your your hard drive all sorted you can then do whatever you like with that hard drive copy files over uh being like that to make it work for you as a backup drive so anyway back over to me right well i hope that was useful for you uh, if you're going to get an external hard drive um that's what you need to do so thumbs up like and share and come back again okay so bye for now